Australia witnessed a spike in international travel towards 2021's end. Despite Omicron's attempts to dampen the holiday spirit towards the end of 2021, Australians managed to rejoice during the festive season. The easing of restrictions turned out to be a boon for those wishing to meet their families overseas. More people flew outside the country than those returning. And overall, the festive spirit resulted in booming international travel during November, as shown by the Australian Bureau of Statistics data. The total number of arrivals in the country increased by 56,510 trips monthly, while departures increased by 54,290 visits monthly. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm Sage for Calkine Media. Changing perceptions regarding travel. After spending nearly two years isolated within the country, Australians finally started warming up to international travel in the late months of 2021. And additionally, the government's decision to bring down the restrictions nationally also helped foster a change in mindset regarding overseas travel. In November alone, there were 72,250 arrivals and 91,100 departures out of the country. The recovery in travel continued in December as well, when arrivals and departures were at their highest since March of 2020. The provisional data released by the ABS shows the largest monthly spike is in December itself. The source of traveller inflow. The month of November marked an increase in short-term travel within the country with 26,000 short-term residents returning and 61,000 residents leaving Australia. However, compared with November of 2019, the trips were 97% less in November of 2021. The USA was the most popular destination country from where around 14% of all residents had returned. The lowering of restrictions also helped strengthen the economically strategic channel of student immigration. Compared to November 2020, there was an increase of 620 international student arrivals into the country, increasing the total student inflow to 770. However, the figures were again bleak compared to the pre-pandemic levels as a drop of 98% was reported compared to November of 2019. The bottom line, as Omicron cases rise in the country, international travel could once again be hit in 2022. However, rising vaccination rates and the impetus being given to the booster shot could likely result in restrictions wearing off soon. Additionally, the country has accepted the Russian vaccine Sputnik V for those coming into the country, and therefore international travel may recover faster and more efficiently than the previous year after a temporary slowdown. If you like the information, let us know by liking, sharing, commenting on the video below. Subscribe to the channel and do press the bell icon to be notified of the latest videos. For more information and regular updates, please check the website. It's calkinemedia.com. I'm Sage for Calkine Media.